Hi, my name's Yaka Rasool and I'm a collage, mixed media and sculpture artist. My practice is largely based here in my studio in Bow, Bromley by Bow, and I also do quite a lot of engagement work, which has actually proved really inspiring and really moving because quite often you're working with a variety of different people from parts of society that don't often have access to art. I worked with a homeless charity called Accumulate. Their job is just trying to keep homeless people in their um, accommodation and distract them from the absolute stress of being homeless. Mental health is an inspiration, multicultural spaces and the difficulty of communities trying to be themselves and you know I, th I think like the UK is really multicultural but obviously there are some issues and we've got to really start looking at those issues. You know things like you know, the riots recently are really unnerving and how do we start discussing those really kind of really heavy issues. I'm a huge fan of multiculturalism but I think that we really need to help communities feel part of society. I think when I started being an artist I, I kind of had a real issue with being an artist and calling myself an artist. It just felt a bit weird and also I was working in a pub so I was just very slowly making artwork but I didn't have any money so it really suited me to look at materials that were just around me that I didn't have to pay for and I was quite taken by the receipts and the invoices for all the deliveries at the pub and the cardboard boxes that different wines came from even like the warehouse delivery of the food there'd be like random boxes of stuff and I really liked all these different materials um, essentially card or paper and even like the fruit you know like you get those like plywood boxes and things like that and then you know I'd spend a bit of money on some felt tips and a ruler but that was that was about it so it was it was genuinely um, a, a financial kind of decision to use materials that are just available to us I think schools could approach local businesses and ask them for their abandoned materials or even product that doesn't get used or is out of date or the various packaging that happens for all of those products. There might be abandoned cartridges or bits of receipt rolls or things like that. You know, I, I, th I think we have lots of prejudice against um, lots of materials and think, oh, we can't use that, or we don't use that, or that's not pretty enough. You don't necessarily need to buy a huge amount of things at all. Living in a consumerist society, I think that's a really difficult thing for all of us to kind of understand. Like, you really have to sort of go into a new gear. You know, if you've got, like, a bag of clothes that go into the charity shop, just pick out two garments and start chopping them up chop up the neckline, chop up the cuffs. Creating is not just about being organised, it's not about having lists or being really academic, it's about you just sort of creating stuff. Like there's loads of awful stuff that I've made, like loads. I really welcome making stuff that's really not that great, but you know, something will happen in a few months time and I'll think, oh I really like that idea, or I want to pursue that. It's really overrated, the fact that everybody presumes that everybody knows what they're doing because we don't. We're all just having, you know, trying to make something and create something. I don't really like this idea of an artist being branded in their, their way of working. Like, it's nice to use recycled materials and talk about some quite serious topics within that. But um, if you're being an artist, then you're allowed to sort of be able to do lots of different things. So there's an artist called Stephen Rodrig who creates sculptures out of discarded electronics. You know, there's so much tech that's being chucked out at the moment. It's really great that he's using that as his base materials. And they're quite extraordinary, all those circuit boards, you know, they're almost a bit like some sort of human language 
vibe going on about how we communicate. So there's lots of different things you could do with that. So if you have an old computer, start taking it apart, maybe. You know, try not to throw anything away without kind of looking at it slightly differently and being a bit more broad-minded about things. And then the other artist is Robert Bradford, who makes um, sculptures made out of disused toys. So again, the amount of abandoned toys that don't get mended or they don't work. So even if like a plastic doll that's just been disregarded, you could mold on top of it, you could glue some paper on it and draw all over it, or it could be part of a sculpture. Um, the thing that you think is not gonna work is probably a really exciting starting point.